Welcome back to Handmade Home, I'm Hester and today we're making a very cute little owl from a pine cone. And for this craft you need pine cones and I thought it would be a very cute thing to forage on pine cones then we can use those to make the owls. But um, yeah, we looked at all our dog walks, couldn't find any pine trees locally. Uh, I sort of gave up, I was going to order some and then I got a tip off on the local WhatsApp group that there were pine cones spotted in the cemetery. Some. I need to clean these pine cones though, so I gave them a rinse with some washing up liquid, then had them soaking for half an hour in two parts water with one part vinegar. You see the pine cones are all closed, but it will open up in the oven because you need to bake these on 200 degrees Celsius for about 90 minutes. Halfway through I just took them out of the oven and I turned them over. As you can see now, they're all nice and open. This is a great craft to do with your little ones. Unfortunately, my little one is in school, so I have to do it on my own. But very child friendly. I'm even going to go into Kiki School to show her class how to make these because they're such a fun little thing. Uh, beautiful decorations for the Christmas tree, on your Christmas table, or gifts for grandparents and aunties and uncles. So get your little one involved. You need black, orange, and brown craft paper. So cotton wool, glue, black pen. I'm using a pencil, but you can also use something else to poke with, like a knitting needle. You need some googly eyes, and of course your pine cones. Oh, uh, coffee optional. Isn't it amazing how open they are now, now they've been in the oven? So now they're clean and dry and cool down, we're going to take some cotton wool, and you're going to take very small pieces, and you're just going to stuff it in between the little bits of the pine cone. You can use your fingers, what you can also do is get a pencil, and just poke it in there. And this is perfect for a little one to do, because they can just tear off the cotton wool, put it in there. So what do you think? Does this look more like a snow owl or a baby owl? Because I thought it could be like a baby owl. And I was thought baby owls were called fledglings, but I just had a Google, because I didn't want to give you any wrong information, and it said a baby owl is called an owlet. 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 Word I can't pronounce. So we just say baby owl. <laughs> it looks like a baby owl. Anyway, got four of them done now. So let's give it some eyes and some wings. I'm going to start with the eyes. And from your coloured paper, I chose orange, but you can choose any colour you like. You're going to cut two circles. I'm going to fold this double. There we go. I'm going to add a bit of glue on there. And then stick on your googly eye. If you don't have any googly eyes, just draw a black dot on here. Then on the back, he's going to dab a little bit of kitty glue. This is just a simple craft glue. I find a liquid one works a bit better on the pine cone than the glue stick. So let's see, what should his face be? I think his face should be there. I'm gonna stuck on the eyes. And the other one. It's so fiddly. There we go. Then you're gonna cut your black paper in a little bit of a peak shape. Like so. It's not be too neat. We're gonna glue that to him as well with the same kitty glue. And there you go. It's got a beak. Now I just need two wings. So I'm using brown paper, two little rectangles, I'm going to put them on top of each other and I'm going to cut it in the shape of a wing. You can use any paper you like, you can use um, colored paper, patterned paper, I think this plain brown craft paper, it looks very cute. I always have a little bowl going where I can put tiny bits of paper in so they don't go falling on the floor.
And stick them on the little owl. Look at little owl. And if you want to make them into a hanging ornament, just tie a little bit of string to the top of the pine cone. Those owls the cutest. I just think it's so nice. You go forward for materials, have a lovely walk, then you go home, clean them, and you make these little decorations. Lovely to sit together at the table, just chat, make little owls, decorate your tree, or just have them as um, little figurines around your house. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button too so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I really hope to see you soon and have a lovely Christmas.